Hey, it's the music. <laughs> it's the music. Okay, and bull bears? Okay, we're going to get to that guy first. I don't want to have to. We're going to focus him. Ignoring literally everything. Where is... I, I need to get up there. Okay, we need to deal with this. You guys... Kill. Kill! Uh, you... Build. What is your carry strength? Ooh, okay. Okay. Alright. Okay. Okay! That was close. Kill her! Get the impact damage, because I really like that. Not that difficult. Okay. Die. And we're going to wait. We're going to wait for this to be built. Okay, you're dead. Uh, the bull bear... No, sorry. The, the giant... The giant bread bug. Oh, it's full when it's full. Oh, we can dig it up. That's, that's awesome. That's a really cool change. Okay. That makes sense. He only has a carry of 30, so we can we can bully him pretty easily. Also, I'm using him as a gender neutral term, and I'm trying let's try to avoid that, just for proper English. Them. There we go. I'm not That's like the first time I've actually like called myself No, that's not true. Like in a recording called myself on pronoun usage, and I I find that interesting. The just the, the ways we change over the years. I kind of wish there was a proper gen gender neutral son of a gun. Uh, gender neutral pronoun in English. I think other languages have it, but whoa, what? What just happened? Wait, what just happened? What did I miss? What did I miss? Whoa, whoa, rewind all of that. Hey, 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 there's a oh, you're damaged. You're very damaged. But I don't know what I missed there. It looks like it got angry and charged. Huh, actually, you know what? We're gonna we're gonna purple this one up. <laughs> you know what? I, well, one sec. It makes noises now. Oh, look at it. Look at it. I can get a thumbnail. Look at that butt. Look at that that. Baker, <laughs> bro has a whole bakery. <laughs> oh, that's odd behavior. It'll hide some of them for later. Okay, that's that's new. So it charged, which I missed earlier, unfortunately. It charges when it it gets hurt. Which might kill Pikmin. I don't. I don't know. I didn't. Maybe I lost Pikmin off screen, but I'm 90% sure I didn't. Um, can I throw Pikmin on top of it? What? Okay. The the giant bread bug isn't as uh isn't as intimidating as it used to be. Apparently, just experimented with a bunch of different ways that we could have dealt with that situation, and we kind of used a little bit of all of them. But that's not down yet. Notice there's still a one there. We're not done. We did lose a purple. Ochi, you're gonna deal with that. Kill the bull bears. Or bull cubs, maybe? Too much? No? Bull cubs is kind of cool. Ochi, hello? What are you doing? That was very strange. It almost feels like in this final area, maybe it's it just take me a while to notice some of the scuff. Also, the implication there that a either this one died of its own on its own of some natural cause, or the bread bug killed it. A very strange implication. I love this music. It's also still play. Oh, there's another one. Oh. And it's, yeah, there's another one. Okay, well, um, we'll deal with this one. Actually, no, no, let's deal with this one the different way. Let's throw Pikmin on top of it. We can weigh it down. Oh, I actually don't even remember getting that captain. 
another leafling secured. You know, I'm actually starting to like salad now that I know that it can contain nothing but meat. Mmm, meat salad. That's so cute. Look at him right on the ball or on the bread bug. I presume. Yeah. That's cool. It makes sense, too. Whoa! So that's what happens. When you get hurt, you do that. And it's hard to get the purples on top of it. Huh. I, I like this this a lot more. They're they're less threatening. So in in Pikmin 2, I believe this was the only enemy capable of one or of uh, killing your entire party. Because if you swarmed everyone to one treasure, if it was possible to swarm them all to one treasure, um, at the same time that this guy pulled, wow, the same guy that, that same time this this uh, little dude killed or uh, uh, pulled a treasure in underground, then it would it would be uh, it would kill them all. Kind of neat. One, two, three. Go deal with this with my... Let's use yellows. Look how quickly they can dig. Wow. I'm not too sure about how I feel about yellow Pikmin being able to dig. It just feels kind of arbitrary. Like, are they digging with their ears? If so, that's very painful. I don't know. It's very, it's very odd. Okay, let's, uh... Now that the bread bugs are dead, threats are off the table, let's, uh, get this violet candy pop bud. And illustrate something that kind of blew my mind. A quality of life fix that I think is not only extremely m well merited, but so incredibly good. Yeet. Watch this. I'm gonna I'm going to commit a cardinal sin right now. One, two, three, four, five. I have this much faith in my comments to do this. And they're hundred percent right. If you throw a Pikmin of the same variety into a Candy Pop Bud, it doesn't count against its five uses. Is that not fantastic? That's such a good idea. It makes total sense because it's not doing anything. So it's not even, it doesn't even feel gamey like them, uh, the game talking about how um, like a third of the amount of time is spent in caves, which is strange, right? It's kind of it's like why would they acknowledge that when it's a very gamey mechanic and act like it's some sort of un universe thing or in universe thing? Um, I, I haven't forgotten about plucking those. I on, on habit plucked five and moved on. Um, is that a treasure? No, although it should be. It really that that soccer ball should be a treasure. Oh, hi! But yeah, I love that chain. Also, Flarlick, let's go. Makes Also makes a lot of sense for this, this cave. Boom. Boom. And boom. This was the final floor, so there's nothing else. But what a final floor it was. We get to go on a table. We're indoors, which I guess we're just in another room. Don't ask me how that works. We're in another room. I really wish that was a treasure. That should take like 50 or like 180 or something crazy. That would be really cool. Get these last two purples. We've lost one purple, but we gained, we had a net gain of four. Check the map. That's our treasure. Let's go. Oh, we can get on a chair. That's awesome. This game is very pretty. It's very pretty and it, Oh, hold up. There's a flower on a chair. There's a flower on a chair. Glad I saw that. Uh. Flowerlet collected. I don't know what they're singing, but they're singing something. Da na na na. Da na na na. They're singing part of something. Get on! All right. Make a flying leap. Get some more glow Pikmin. What? Oh. I'm at my limit. Okay. 
There we go. We're done. And I also... Ooh, I, let's experiment with this, too. Let, let's use all of the strength of spicy sprays. Of the ultra spicy spray to our advantage. So, apparently... We're going to stress test this. Apparently, spicy spray flowers Pikmin. As evident from another episode where I completed one of the flower quests when all I did was use spicy spray. So, it, it is map-wide... And it flowers Pikmin. Yep, and we even completed the quest again. That makes spicy sprays very, very good. Convenient to use, even if you don't have a task to do, like right now. The fact that it just flowers Pikmin is awesome. It also insinuates that in previous games that was intentional that it did that. Huh. Also, if we had... Oh, never mind. I was going to say, if we hadn't lost Pikmin, then I wasn't going to be able to gain purples here, but the, it's conversion, pal. You're an idiot. All right. We're done. Let's leave. Da, 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 da. Got a couple leaflings. Got a little bit of pup drive. I'm also testing out, by the way, I, I forgot to mention that, I'm testing out a different way of recording, or rather, I mean, it, it, it sounds like it's special. Um, I'm saving all of my footage now on my hard drive, or um, I'm recording it to my hard drive, and I'm thinking that that might eliminate the lag that we've been, and the, f the terrible frame skips that we've dealt with since my return to the channel. I, that's At least that's my hope. Uh, we're gonna find out, because my, my SSD is what was re originally saving the data, and... Oh, whoops. It was what was originally saving the data, and it was getting, not full, but it was getting close to full. And I think that was part of the problem. So, if so, if that was the problem, then that we're never going to run into that problem again, because I have a 4 terabyte hard drive. Okay. We lost one Pikmin. Unfortunately, it had to be a purple Pikmin. Kind of dumb. But we gained more than we lost. And probably just in time for the countdown. Oh yeah, Flarlick! I forgot we got that. Yes. Was that 90 now? Or is it, is it 80? It is 90. We're so close. So close. Um, is there anything else I could do in the countdown? I think we're just going to investigate. And for that, I... I think uh, that's correct, but I don't think that is. I want... I want whites. No, I want flying. Yep, we're at the countdown. But we're just gonna run. We're gonna run into uncharted territory here. Jump through the chair. Ha! <laughs> what? That was crazy, Polish! What? That was nuts! That was crazy. Okay, we're gonna talk about the implications of what just happened in a moment. A frigid bulb orb. Not a fuzzy one, but a f icy one. Oh, his nose is red. His nose is red. Bar stools. I think I saw another base in the corner of my eye as, as we faded to black. The fact that jumping and bumping Jeff knocked him off of Ochi is a crazy, crazy detail. That's never going to come up. Like, why would that ever come up? But it did. That's just physics. That's awesome. I love that level of polish in a game. Mmm, you've returned. Don't mind this bottle of ranch in my hand. I was simply so excited to see you that I didn't set it down. Oh, you have a leafling there. Oh, I spilled the ranch. Dearest me, that's an accident. Whoopsie doopsie. Lots of money. Again, one Pikmin lost. We just saw this. This dog, Moss, comes up quite a lot in Captain Olimar's voyage log. I'm very intrigued. Perhaps we'll encounter her somewhere on this planet. Oh, I hope so. She's very plump and green. I love green ham and eggs. I'm hip. There's a lot that can't be captured in text alone, like taste. 
ta taste can never be described in text. You read my mind. If I could get a tissue sample of an unknown space dog species. Think of all the s experiments I could run. Hmm, yes, we should get a tissue sample for sure. I'm right with you, Yanni. Hmm, experiments? You mean like a taste test? Is that on one of the experiments? Please tell me it is. I discovered a locked bunker. There must be a clue somewhere telling us where to find the code that opens it. Is that the end of the game? Oh. Oh. It just tells us the solution. Man, I'm kind of sad that it does that. The cards. The cards are the key. And we're missing the heart. Next time in Pal Plays Pikmin 4... We're gonna go after that heart, or we're gonna do some night exploration because I don't have enough sap to cure the leafling I got. One of the two! There is a new night mission that's opened up now that I've moved my base. But I think I'd rather tackle that when we have the last two in this area, and I was not able to get the last base. So next time, we're gonna be returning to the house and seeing if we can find that last card, maybe get up on the counter. See y'all in the morning.